Hey YouTube, Mark O'Neill here with O'Neill Outdoors. Um, this morning I had a little bit of a conversation with uh, an individual about carrying a sidearm when you hunt, whether it's for bears or mountain lions or just to carry a sidearm because. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the options that I use and some of the issues that I see guys using out there. These are just my opinion, so bear with me on that one. Nine times out of 10, I carry a little Smith & Wesson 357, MMP 340. It's extremely lightweight. It's not that, that scandium frame super super lightweight one just because it's a 357 and i mean you can shoot 38s out of these don't get me wrong but it does have the night side up front on it let's try to get that in there maybe yep it's just a very very small gun it's very lightweight i've changed the grips out but if i carry this i'm just carrying my front pocket it slips right into my front pocket really easy if i'm sitting down it might take me a little bit to, to get it out I'm gonna shoot the Grizzly Big Bore Ammunitions, um, 220 grain. Let's see if I can get a focus a little bit. Anyway, so that's what I'll pack in. And uh, I do like the bullet strips. So these are 44 mag, but I will keep one of these in 357 just in my top pocket or in my other leg pocket, or if I have a drop pocket, I'll keep it in there. But nine times out of 10, due to its weight and everything else about this gun, this is what I'm gonna carry. If I wanna go with the larger frame 357, I'm gonna switch it up and go, I think this is a three, no, 627. A Smith & Wesson 627, original Smith & Wesson grips that are on here. It's an, a rare eight shot. 357 so some people dog on them some people love them i love this one very smooth trigger but nice thing about this is with it being eight shots the moon clip so i'll just carry a couple extra of these one's gonna be in my pocket my top pocket One's gonna be in the gun, and then the other's gonna be in the rifle caddy in the truck. I do like those. It's very simple to load and unload. Whoop. Play with it a bit. Falls right in. Bang, 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 bang. Falls right out. Again, you just gotta maneuver it a little bit and it falls right in to where if you open it, Eject your shells. It doesn't take a handful of seconds. But now with this gun, uh, it's a little bit different holster uh, compared to your standard. It's a one way and it's going to be side, my right side carrying to where I can still get it out. And it's going to be open top. I've never had an issue with this falling out or anything like that. And with a little bit of pressure on it, it's not going to. I say that, watch me to fall and bust the sides. This is a, the newer model, Smith & Wesson. It's a 2910, right? Yeah, Smith & Wesson 2910. It doesn't have a ton of recoil for a 44 mag, but it's a bigger, heavier gun. Um, I've swapped out the grips, the factory grips, and I went on some with some larger uh, target stuff that I found on, I think, uh, eBay for around 50 or 60 bucks or so. I really like them. They, they fit my hands extremely well. It's a large frame gun and it is a smooth gun. For that, I do like to carry cross draw. I like to come out and across where if I'm on the same side with either of these holsters and I can draw straight out, I can push towards my target and come back and then holster my weapon or I can come back and holster in through here and I'm not crossing anywhere on my body and knowing where my muzzle is at all times is a big thing. The issue that I see a lot of guys running chest rigs that they don't get the ones that go down get the ones that go back out to the side 
Well, this is great and all, but the issue comes for if this gun happens to be here and I bump it off, you know, if I can get it to go off. From here, I just shot the guy in the back seat that's right behind me, or the guy right behind me on the trail. That's why either barrels up or barrels down. Most of the time, I like barrels down. If I'm just carrying that in the truck, and for pigs, I'm gonna carry Hornady Custom 44 Mag, 200 grain, uh, XTP. If I am doing a bit more hunting in really shitty bear country, I'm carrying HSM bear load. Shit is hot. 305 grain. Man, this is a beast. But anyway, that's the box. And that's the load. If you got any questions or anything like that, let us know. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.